Okay, now we're moving back in time uh, to 1953, when Cam Cam opened at the Schubert Theater. This was 24 years before the act. Producers Fjord and Martin were taken with the idea of a musical set in Paris. They called Cole Porter to write some Paris songs, and they brought book writer Abe Burroughs tons of articles about Paris and said, come up with a show. Literally, they were like, Paris, that's a musical. Articles, come up with a show. Uh, this would explain why the show wasn't so integrated, even by 1953 standards. Uh, but Burroughs found a show he was excited about, about the conflict between Cam Cam dancers and the censorship bureau. Uh, the producers thought that they had a hit already just with Atlas. That's it, Abe Martin said. It's going to be a great show. All it needs is a little paperwork. That's what he called the libretto of the show. <laughs> Abe started working before he even ever met Cole Porter. Um, although he said the first part of my show I ever saw was by Cole Porter. Back in 1932, I saw The Gay Divorce. Fred Astaire was in it, and my date and I sat in the last row of the balcony at the Barrymore for 55 cents, all I could afford. 20 years later, and I'm writing with Cole. That's cool. Uh, the leading lady was French star Lilo. While looking for the ensemble, you and Martin were having a dance call in their office one day. Uh, young choreographer Michael Kidd sent them a telegram from California during the dance call. Stop looking. Stop. Have found the greatest dancer in America. Stop. Gwen Vernon. Stop. <laughs> Don't you want to frame that fucking telegram? That telegram? <laughs> he was right! I know, right? Verdon, Verdon played a supporting role in the show. It was her first real part on Broadway. On opening night, she was changing in her dressing room after having completed the second of her two featured numbers, and she could faintly hear applause but assumed it was for the show's star. And she was already half out of her costume when, she, when supposedly Lee Schubert himself burst in on her, threw a wrap over her shoulders, and pushed her back out on stage to acknowledge the wild cheers of the first-nighters who were chanting, We want Verdon! She's been a star ever since. Uh, Kim Ken also marked the Broadway debut of a 20-year-old dancer named Conchita Del Rivero, who became one Shane Rivera. Uh, the show was also one of the first big musicals to have a spring opening. All the shows used to open in the fall so they could get a full season under their belts before they had to close in the summer because there was no air conditioning. So that changed. Air conditioning, air conditioning changed, changed the world. Now, Can Can ran for 800 performances, and the show was revived on Broadway in 1981 and lasted only five. <laughs> and this time it starred French dancer Zizi Jean-Louis. Uh, but there's so many French things in the show this time.